All right, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, NSF FastLane collaborative proposals and the procedure that we have here at New Mexico Tech. And this is how it works. Uh, the question when you um, have in a collaborative proposal is that if we are the lead or we are not, and things change if we are or we aren't. So let's assume that we're not the lead institution. So you are collaborating with another institution or there are several institutions involved, uh, but we are not the lead institution. What you got to do is provide um, the lead institution a four digit PIN number that you need to assign to your proposal. If you don't know how to do this, uh, I have another video um, that shows you how, um, and there's a link below this video that you can see um, how it is done. But what you got to do is you need to send that four digit PIN number that you've assigned to your proposal to the lead institution and they're going to use it to link your proposal to theirs. So it is very important. And so once you do that, you got to prepare your part of the proposal. That includes a cover sheet, your biographical sketches, your budget and uh, different parts. Um, and obviously this is important. All budgets should be created using New Mexico Tech fringe rates and indirect cost rates. And that's very important because each school may be different. So um, all you need to do is you need to include everything that concerns New Mexico Tech, the budget that concerns New Mexico Tech, facilities and resources that concern New Mexico Tech, and what have you. And that's the part you need to prepare. And uh, you um, add that, which is the research part and what have you, plus the budget, plus the routing sheet, and you need to route it as a normal proposal. And um, once you do that, the next part is you need to coordinate um, with the lead institution. Again, we're not the lead. So you need to coordinate with the lead institution as to when it is that they are going to submit and the time. And the way it works is they need to submit first and then we need to submit. So you need to be in, you know, in contact either with the PI um, or with the office, a research, of office a research office of the other institution when they're going to be submitting. And once you know that, you need to let me know uh, here in you know, our office of research um, when you want me to go ahead and submit. So this is a lot of coordinating, uh, but it's pretty straightforward um, that we kind of work together to submit. Now, if we are the lead institution, you need to link all the other institutions and their proposals to your proposal. And you need to ask the other folks to send you their PIN number um, so you can link that. If you don't know how to do it, I will have a short video below this video to show you how to link um, the other proposals to yours if we are the lead institution. And so after that, you go ahead, obviously, and um, prepare your part of the proposal. Since we are the lead institution, there are way more stuff that needs to be um, uh, prepared, uh, like, you know, uh, statement of work and different stuff, current and pending support and all different data management plan and what have you. You need to prepare all of that and upload and you need to coordinate with the other institutions, letting them know when we are going to submit. And in all of this, you need to uh, keep me informed. Send me an email and say, hey, this is the title of my proposal. It's a collaborative proposal. I'm planning on submitting and then are we the lead or we're not the lead? And um, so you kind of need to work with me. And um, so um, obviously you need to give me SRO access uh, with all of this. Um, so I can actually go ahead and submit your proposal like any other um, uh, proposal. If you don't know how to allow the SRO access, um, I have another video that shows you how. But if you don't give me access, I'm not able to view your proposal to know that it needs to be submitted. Um, so you need to give me that access. Anyways, the way it works, it's pretty straightforward, but the key question when you're doing a collaborative proposal, a fast lane one, is are we the lead or we're not the lead? And kind of the procedure changes um, depending on the answer. If you have any questions, uh, contact me and uh, we get through it and um, be happy to help you with any questions you may have.